Ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to open the floor. Any media who would like to take this opportunity, thank you. State your name and the media outlet right away. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Franz Ivan, and um, in the pageant world, they call me Mars. Right? So good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. My first question is, Jankana, welcome to Omalores, candidate number one, Kathy. Hi, good afternoon sa iyo, Ms. Alaminos, tama? Yes, pa. good afternoon. Good afternoon. My question to you is, you're not um, new to the pageant because you've already um, represented the Philippines in an international pageant. And now that you are um, parang joining this time, kasi nag-join ka before pandemic time, so it's a virtual pageant. Now, this is a face-to-face. For you, what is the difference between joining a virtual pageant and now joining a face-to-face pageant? Thank you, Mars. And it's good to see you in person. Um, joining international pageant and even national pageant in a hybrid form or even in virtual is really difficult. You really have to make sure that your connection is good, network should be stable, so that you'll be able to present yourself well. However, at this point in time, in Lingas na Pangasinan, you are given a good opportunity to present ourselves face-to-face, -face, personally, to present not only ourselves, who carry the names of our family, but at the same time, our respective towns, to create a better placement to our culture and traditions in each respective towns, and of course, to glorify what we have here in Pangasinan. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Thank you so much, of course, from the friends of our media. Once the candidate has been called, hindi na po ulit po ay tawagin. We only have one question each candidate. Thank you so much. Now the mic is open once again from the friends of our media. Maaari niyo pong tawagin kung sino ang gusto niyo thank you. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. Hello, ladies. Uh, I'd like to ask, uh, my name is Jay Patao. I'm from Malaya, which is inside. Um, I'd like to ask candidate number three from Ming Ali. Uh, Nikisha. Chebe? Yes, Nikisha. Yes, uh, Nikisha. Um, you have uh, your half half uh, Iranian? Yes. Um, so, what uh, made you decide to uh, join um, Lingas? Thank you. Um, when I was a child, I really liked watching pageants, but once I came here to the Philippines and got to know my culture, my heritage, I got to see the passion of Filipinos for pageantry, and I got to see how powerful these women on stage are when they speak to a lot of audience, especially the Filipinos who are passionate about Philippines, and they use this platform to advocate, to be the voices of those who are voiceless, of those who do not know what to do, sometimes they're pillars of hope, and I wanted to be that woman of substance, and I wanted to help my fellow Filipinas, because truly in my heart, I feel like I am also a Filipina, and I'm really proud of it, especially since I've learned the culture of the Philippines. Um, you are taking a pharmacy in school. I am. It reminds me so much of... Um, mm, it reminds me so much of um, Miss Universe Philippines. Oh. Who, uh, who, who took a pharmacy. And uh, Janine. And she also formulates... Uh, do you want to formulate your own fragrances? Yes, um, actually, I am a skincare enthusiast. I'm a pharmacist, and so I match these researches that I do in pharmacy, and also what I've studied, and also what I gather from all of what I gather from all of the doctors and the pharmacist formulation. And I formulate my own skincare. I have my own notebook, and perhaps maybe soon I can have my own skincare and put it in a very um, not so expensive price so that the youth can also afford it because I also want to empower the youth by providing skincare to them. That's a good way of right. connecting the pageant to your yes. course. Yes, so thank you luck. so much. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. There you go. All right, moving on with our next candidate, of course, again, the reminders strictly one question only for the candidate. No follow-up questions, please. Maraming salamat po for the understanding. Moving on, again, the microphone is open from the friends. 
And Medea, anyone would take uh, the microphone, please. Mr. Long questions with the left. Uh, three candidates open for you. There you go. My form is Udalion. Uh, I am Ferdinand from Eventology. My question for you is, how would you uh, want your uh, municipality to be uh, promoted in this pageant? Can you repeat that question? How would you want your municipality to be promoted in this pageant? Well, I joined this pageant because I want to represent my country and also I want to share the cultures and the traditions and also the tourist spots in our municipality of Bugalion. And I would like to share to you the tourist spots. And the first is the Mount Zion pilgrim, which you can pray and with your families. And also the newly discovered falls, which is Takaya, Takayanan Falls, which is belongs to Lagin Padilla. And also we also have And lastly, and lastly, the people of municipality, they are municipality of Pogalion rather, they are so welcoming and kind hearted. Thank you. Alright, thank you so much, candidate number five. Moving on with our next question. Strictly one question only, thank you. Number two, Leia. Hi, Leia. Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Um, how are you? Well, I am blessed to be an official candidate. And um, as you know, I am the first ever representative of um, Lawak, my municipality here in Western Pangasinan. So I, want, I really wanted to make my Lawak Kenyans, especially my mother who is here right now, to be proud. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, it's not a question actually, but my name is Arby, and the name is Ford. So, um, there are two crowns at stake, right? Uh, Miss World and Miss Grand, Miss Grand International. So, um, so, if given a chance, at what crown I was born? Well, if I'm given a chance to choose, I will choose Miss Grand. Because, as you all know, we don't have any title for Philippines in Miss Grant and I want, I really, I'm very, very driven to really put my best and I'm a very passionate person and I believe that Miss Grant is an amazing platform to help my community because at a very young age I did, a, I did a lot of community service like the end of drive, tree planting, um, gift giving and tutoring and I really believe that Miss Grant International is an amazing platform to continue my passion. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now to our last candidate. Now we will request a representative from the Bongo Radio to do the question, please. <laughs> there you go, sir. Strictly one question only. No follow-up question. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, Miss Rita Pasingan. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Princess of Ordua, our Princess ng Pagasan versus a warrior. Ngayon, paano natin maisasabuhay ang sa water time ngayon ang San Francisco or Duwa? I think a lot of women here in Pangasinan represents Princess Urduha. We women are very strong, we are wise, and we are very kind-hearted. And I think that um, surviving this pandemic is uh, a very brave thing that we did and continuing this new gas na Pangasinan is, is very strong, a strong step in order to showcase the strong women of Pangasinan with intelligence and of course with their own purposes. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Very happy ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Anyway, I'm Edge with our Pageant College 101. Okay, so aside from your bio posted uh, on our press kit, so um, can you give three fact facts about you or trivia about you that you want us to know? Trivia about me, 
Of course. <laughs> Thank you. The three things about me is number one is I'm a, I'm a very sanguine person. I'm a happy, jolly, and actually I'm a life of the party in, in our group of friends. I'm always the one who making them laugh and smile. And number two is I'm a very caring person. Um, I have to share you about something with a very difficult time during the pandemic. Um, I was the one who stood up for my family since my father lost his job during, his, during the pandemic and I cannot afford to see my family mm, nothing to eat so um, I entered the LGU Mataram and even a small amount um, I gave it to my family for a daily living so that's why I'm very caring to them and lastly um, I'm also a pet lover <laughs> actually my advocacy is I advocate for animal rights and protection since I'm a very pet person, a lot of animal lover, and I have been dedicated. Protect, uh, I've been very dedicated to the animal specialist stray cats, those homeless dogs. Um, actually, I'm not been having an organization like in, in animal protection, but since ten, since 2019. I have been adopting kittens and cats on the streets because I believe that I want to make the people aware that our animals are also have, um, they are intelligent and they have emotions. And I believe that we should respect them. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Moving on, of course. Down with our candidate number six, only one candidate per question. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Jay from Pageant Trend. I'd like to call candidate number seven, Mr. Rosales. Okay. Hi, dear. Good, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My question for you is, what is the best feedback you received in joining Miss Linda in 2023? The best feedback that I have received through this journey of mine is that when Mr. KF told me that they can see that I have I have the qualities of being a beauty because I know in myself that I can show them that I am a determined, passionate and a well-developed woman who can stand on her own and also be the voice to the youth, to the children and I know that this Tingas and Pagasinan would be a great platform of mine to support my advocacy to help the to help the young children who are homeless and homeless and less privileged kids to educate and give my best for them to see the light that they will follow in order for them to have a better future in their life. Thank you. So much. Alright, moving on with our next candidate again to all of our media friends right Aside from the questions you have prepared for our beautiful candidates, may I remind you, take this opportunity as well. Because, of course, in line with this, we have our Pistai Diet 2023 press con as well for today. So the floor is open from the media friends. Thank you so much. Hilda Austria Paul, Philippine News Agency. Candidate number 11, Ms. Melissa, please. I read you sa bio mo na you are also advocating mental health. So I just want to know kung paano mo ipopromote ang advocacy mo through the Lingas na Pangasinan Thank you. Um, actually, this uh, advocacy for me is very important because me, myself, I have experienced it. I have dealt um, with my mental health problem for the last couple of years. And um, as a Lingas Malasiki, I will actually use this platform, the Lingas na Pangasinan, to advocate um, mental health through social media because social media is very powerful right now. And um, to be honest, even though I'm not a candidate of uh, Lingas na Pangasinan 2023, I'm already advocating this through social media as well. And um, I've been a team leader in an international based telecommunications. And whenever I'm having a talk with um, my mentees, 
I'm actually using that to um, listen to their stories because I believe that listening to the unheard voices of the society is very important nowadays. Thank you. All right, maraming salamat. What a beautiful one. Moving on, again, the floor is open. Uh, mga kaibigan from the media friends, again, reminding everybody to take this opportunity as well in having this press conference about our Pistay Daya 2023 in line as well as, of course, the Lingas na Pangasinan 2023. Again, one question for candidate. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Good afternoon. Um, I'd like to ask um, candidate number nine. Yes. I'm Gayan. Okay, my, my question for you is, it says in your profile that you're a scholar ng bayan. Okay, ano ang message mo sa kapwa mga scholar ng bayan na huwag sayangin ang pagkakataon na magkaroon ng edukasyon? Well, I became a scholar ng bayan because I was scared that I will not be able to continue my studies. My father died when I was 13 and I have been raised by a single mother ever since. And so, it was really that year. However, I knew that if I worked hard, I could get a scholarship. I could continue dreaming. And as a big dreamer, this is a huge step for me. I am independently making myself a name. I am supporting my own studies. And I know that there are a lot of less privileged youth who also have these problems, these worries. Well, there are a lot of opportunities that they can take. And if I can give up the message that all of us can be educated, all of us can be dreamers and be able to achieve those things, then I can say that isa po akong proud ng scholar ng bayan. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Maraming salamat din, of course, with our next candidate. And, of course, ladies and gentlemen, still, DWIZ giving us the question for today. Good afternoon. I'm Liway Manatani Paragiri of DWIC and Kimi. Miss Fabian, you have a very beautiful beach and a very beautiful river. I think it's easy to kaya na river by the Pinupuntahan. If you are to choose, kung saan ka mag picnic or malilito, ano pipili ano? The beach? Or yung malami, magandang river? I will choose beach. We all know that beach nowadays are very common, and yet river I also found not only on, on lowlands, but also in, uh, in highlands. But I will choose beach because of the peace that is given um, to us. As a Filipino, um, there are a lot of people or fishers we have in Philippines that are um, having their livelihood in the beach. That's why if I'm going to have my picnic, it will on the beach because it really reminds me that the beach provides money, provides, provides life, provides peace in everyone. Thank you, Ms. Anthony. And maraming salamat as well, Tita Liwai from BWIZ. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, um, this time will crown two winners who will represent Pangasinan in the national competition, um, Miss World Philippines and Miss Grand Philippines. Are you ready to represent your province in a national competition? Yes, I am ready to represent my province in the international level because I am. if I am ready for Limgas na Pangasinan, I do believe that I am already capable and with the help of our organization i know that in the long process i will become better than i am today and with that i know with the strong dedication that i have i can win any um, miss grant international or miss world thank you thank you very much best of luck to you and the rest of the family maraming salamat next moving on another question coming from uh, the gma representative we have sir chris Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chris from Jimmy Jimmy Network, Jimmy Regional TV. Uh, my question goes to candidate number 12, Santa Barbara. Hello, Mao. How are you? Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. 
Uh, my question is, what does your representing town, Santa Barbara, has to contribute in the tourism industry of Pangasinan and to promote this day uh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, what does your representing town, Santa Barbara, has to contribute in the tourism industry of Pangasinan and to promote this day uh, Well, Santa Barbara is well known for bricks and crops. And aside from that, uh, the grand old, great old man if, of Pangasinan is from Santa Barbara. Uh, how uh, Santa Barbara is going to promote the Bisay diet is through our crops and bricks. By, by having the sales of this kind of products, we could be able to help our uh, province in promoting our tourism. Then we would be known for this kind of products. And not only that, uh, we could also uh, help by by the uh, by having the the great the grand old man of Pangasinan, we could help other people to be aware that we had someone who once helped the Katipuneros into defending our land. That will be all. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much indeed. Moving on, we have our next question coming from Sir John Abaya from the Gupan. And good afternoon to each and everyone. And of course, to all of you, you ladies, I, uh, congratulations for making it to Alimia uh, Pakistan. And my question, uh, my question goes to um, Ordinetta City, number 80. All right. Um, what is your best asset that could be your winning point and why? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. I believe that my best asset is my um, giving importance to the people who are at my back supporting me. I believe I have a unique kind of support system, a really intact and solid one. And so um, it gives me the feeling, it gives me the drive that anything that I want to achieve in life and anything that I plan, anything that I set my mind into, I will achieve it because I have a good support system, a solid support system, and um, that gives me the determination that I need to achieve anything. Great. Good afternoon and thank you. Thank you, Sir John Wazian from IFM. Still, the floor is open. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon. I'm Anna Lee from Manila Politi. I'd like to ask number 16. Parang may hawig ka kay Kylie Oh, thank you. So, my question is, um, there's so much technology in the beauty industry right now. Uh, are you a believer in keeping your natural beauty or would you enhance your beauty if given the chance? Okay. Thank you very much for that question. I think that I am already comfortable on my own skin, but I don't have anything against women who wanted to enhance themselves because if they are confident in enhancing themselves to represent themselves in front of everybody, then it's okay for me. But as for me, in a personal choice, I wouldn't enhance myself because I know that I am confidently beautiful and I have a purpose in joining this pageant and not only to represent my beauty but also my beauty. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Uh, Look alike, Mikai Versanta. Thank you. Moving on, we still have uh, candidates left who would like to take this opportunity and let it be known by one by one. Thank you. Second question, ano? Ang kanil na ko for you. Again, my name is Franz Ivan from Wallace Brand. Hi, how are you? This is not my first question, na. Okay. Gawin natin live. Doon naririnig ito, pero ano yung perspective mo? Ano ang pipiliin ni Mahal mo o Mahal ito? For me, uh, I would choose the one I love. Paano ang question ba? <laughs> Because for if our I will be admired by someone who loves me. I can guarantee that I will choose them. It is easy for me to love from afar because I can I can control my feelings and it, it 
it's hard to please someone who's an admiring you. So I choose I I choose someone I love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again, let's stick to one question only and no follow-ups. Maraming salamat po sa pag-intindi. Ayan. Wala nang follow-up. Makapagalitan niyo po ako. Alright. Now moving on. It's still up, Gadda. It's up. Go ahead. Uh, by the way, we'll give chance no, to all their friends from the media who would like to take the opportunity. Alright. Um, candidate number 15. How are you now? So, uh, my question is, we have hashtag Maybe Beautiful for Miss Universe Philippines, exceptionally empowered Filipino for Miss World Philippines, hashtag I am Binibini for uh, Binibini Filipinas. So, if you could think of a hashtag for Lingas ng Pangasinan 2023. So, anong hashtag ito? Thank you. If I would be given a chance to choose a hashtag for this Lingas 2023, I would choose the hashtag Empowered. Since I do have the epitome of a um, very empowered woman that resides here in Pangasinan, uh, hashtag empower would be the very, very um, fit hashtag for us to represent those who, those ladies, we ladies that are competing here in our pageant. Thank you. There you go. Thank you so much. It's open for everybody. What just one question? Per candidate, maraming sinama, just approach our microphone. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is Jay again from Pageant Trend. I would like to ask, how do you consider yourself as an empowered woman? Thank you for that question. I consider myself as an empowered woman because I always believe in myself. I always believe that I can do everything that I set my mind to. And these qualities will make me to become more empowered. Thank you. Thank you so much. Indeed, thank you so much. My question is for candidate number 19 from the Lupan City. Um, we were told to just ask one question. So, Ari, um, this is not my question, but this is a complicated question. I stitched many questions in one. <laughs> thank you so much for that, sir. Okay. How would you define how what definition would you be given would you give for the word living gas and connect it to an advocacy that would help the whole Philippines and even the international community who are watching us right now understand better the women of Pangasinan? Thank you. Uh Limgas means Maganda and malinis in Tagalog, or in English, beautiful or clean. And Limgas means that I do appreciate the efforts of these beautiful girls, of my co-candidates. And they, they are the definition of Limgas. They, are, they have a strong spirit. And with your second question, sir? No, that is not a second I, question. <laughs> <laughs> how would you connect advocacy? And how would you connect that? the definition of living gas to, that, to an advocacy that would define the women of Pangasinan to the world. Since we are in the modern days, I would like to share a message to all women that we should embrace modernization and we should take advantage of it because there are women out there who works online and at the same time there are also women out there who do live selling. There, these women are students these women are mothers, and for example, we have here a great example, Ms. Maan Rico. She was given a chance to lead this pageant, to be given a chance to be the head of this pageant. And at the same time, uh, we should appreciate the gift of technology from God. And this, we are given a chance to shape our future and to voice out and also to share our stories through social media. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number 19. Mm -hmm. And then we're, uh, we're told to ask one question per candidate, right? So I'm going to ask one question per candidate number 20. Oh, no, no, you want. Oh, yes, per candidate. So I have a question for candidate. Thank you, candidate number 19. Um,
thank you so much, sir. We appreciate it. But we have a line of friends or a resident here. One question, one candidate. Okay. Oh, boy. Thank you so much, sir. We have our line of friends here. I'm Jim Pichata from Summit. Uh, my question is going to our candidate number 22. Mention here in your brief profile is your passion for math and you have excellent abilities during high school in accountancy. Now, uh, and to join this uh, agent because you want to help your parents in your journey towards completing uh, the career you want or the course you want. Now, suppose uh, you found out that the award that you get or the cash award that you get from Linga is not enough to continue your journey. As a, as a, as a student, a good in accounting, you must have a good plan for the future or if you not have money. So how do you continue with your journey with that uh, not enough uh, customer from the person? Thank you, sir. I believe that we all need a time management, a successful time management using, especially right now I am a student and joining a beauty project like this. And I will use this platform to help my parents to continue my journey to finish, to finish college because I know that lately life is so hard because of pandemic and that I just realized that we must be practical in decision making in life. And I will use this platform to use my parents to help rather my parents in finishing my college because I am here right now standing in front of you together with my determination dedication and this discipline to myself and I also have a respect in what others believe for me so I just follow what my parents give a guide to me because I want to help them as young as I am and for the future I would use my advocacy which is to give an importance about education because education is the most powerful weapon that we have and no one could get it into us. Because if you are knowledgeable, then I believe that you are unstoppable. Thank you. Thank you so much. Maraming salamat. All right. Maraming salamat, sir. Moving on, we have Mr. Renz. Another question from the media friends. Thank you. Renz Guzman. Renz, you wanna Anyway, Renz Guzman of Regional News Group is on. My question is for candidate number 24. I've read here that you love to invent or innovate a lot of uh, things using technology. We all know how beautiful, successful, and developed Congress in already is. But then, if you're given the task by uh, the government to innovate something or invent something for a certain municipality or city here in Pangasinan, what municipality and what invention, depending on the need of this certain place, would it be? Thank you, Mom. Good afternoon, good day ladies and gentlemen. And if I could choose a municipality to make, I will make a website. In fact, I make a website that showcases the beauty of municipality. And I will choose Basista to showcase in a website. Because Basista is popularly known as the home of the finest orchestras of the Philippines. In fact, there are eight nationally famous orchestras based in municipality of Basista. It could be very well to be the, the orchestra's capital of the Philippines. Thank you. Thank you so much, Manny. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Ren. There you go. Moving on, Tita Susan Yadrao, of course. Pick your candidate. Yes, good afternoon. I'm Susan Yadrao from UWIC. Good afternoon, Ms. Manawa. Yeah, I have, a, I have a very simple question, not a complicated one. Uh, can you know the story about um, 
your advocacy, uh, is there any story about your advocacy of uh, teaching uh, basic language, uh, basic, basic language, and uh, can you, uh, a sample, how can you invite uh, tourists to go to your place, especially during this land and season? Okay. So the story behind my advocacy, which is, I teach the basics of sign language, is because I came across this video of a child and a mother going to the happiest uh, place in the world, which is Disneyland. And seeing how the mother cried out of uh, uh, joy, because there's this um, employee that was Mickey Mouse, he was able to communicate with her child that was um, mute, rather deaf. And then seeing how she was brought to tears, knowing that there are still people out there who can sign despite being normal, being able to speak. I was inspired to make use of my ability as a human being to learn and to teach. And ever since I started learning the basics, I found it really enjoyable because I'm also a dancer. So whenever I do these specific signs, it's like I'm memorizing these specific steps. And so how I would invite people with my advocacy, if I were to give you a, a sample, okay. So if I were to give it a hashtag for Pangasinan, I would say, Arunso Pangasinan, which is Mahalina Pangasinan. So I would say it with, I love B-A-N-G-A-N-A Panga. <laughs> which is very difficult for a beginner. So I would say D A N G A Panga S I N and A N. Thank you. There you go. We love your hashtag. Thank you so much. Moving on to our next candidate and a friend from media once again, Miss Eva. Good afternoon. I'm Eva Visperas from the Sunday Punch. For Miss Vinalona, please. Hi, Miss Miss Vinalona. Kung sa kaling bibigyan ka ng 15 minutes, one-on-one, heart-to-heart talk with Governor Nico. Ano ang sa sabihin mo sa kanya na top one concern that involves the youth? that urgently needs you to let attention and action. Hello everyone, is it okay to speak in Tagalog since mom speaks in Tagalog? Oh yes. You may, you may speak in English or Filipino, whichever you're comfortable with. Thank you. Um, Pero kung 15 minutes na makausap ko si Governor na kami lang, i-brought up ko sa kanya yung topic about sa youth na teenage pregnancy. Since ngayon po, aware po tayong lahat na dumadami na po yung mga kabataan na nabubuntis. So gusto ko po na sabihin sa kanila para aware po, alam po, aware din po siya doon. Tara, gusto ko sabihin na mag-propose. <laughs> mag-propose po na, gusto ko po i-propose sa kanila. Ang nga po, may deal po ngayon na ipapasal, which is about yung pag sa mga contraceptives, gusto po nila may pasa na parang illegal na po siya. Gusto ko po sanang magkaroon ng parang um, educational na parang meeting po para sa inyo. We just want to talk about sa contraceptives and other sex educational stuff po para maging aware po ang mga kabataan na huwag silang mahiya but also to be knowledgeable in that um, situation po. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Uh, now to our remaining candidates. Here we go. nuclear plant somewhere in Labrador. And if you are, do you, are you... <laughs> Uh, gusto mo ba yun magkaroon? Considering na yun from the soil at which is not for quality soil and alam mo naman pagka yung mga nuclear plants pwede maapektuhan ang, ang inyong industry. So, gusto mo ba yun or ayaw mo at bakit? We are already facing a lot of problems with the climate but if we have 
or we are to make infrastructures with the right research, then I don't think anything like that or the big of a project is wrong. As long as it is made with environmental um, standards, then anything is good. Thank you. Maraming salamat po. Now to our last candidate. Hello everyone. I am Celso Agaraz for this hard work. What word or words that best define you as a bona fide ambassador? I think the word that best defines me as a, a Pangasinense or Pangasina is my tenacity, as tenacity. Because I competed in a lot of beauty pageants, but I did not make it or I did not count as the title of the pageant. But I'm still here proving that I can be a queen with a purpose, and I thank you. Indeed, but I mean, there you have it, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and to all of our friends.